up YouTube? Uh, welcome back to Tactical Advantage. Uh, really excited to talk to you guys today. Uh, we're starting up a build that's been a long time coming. Uh, probably a build I've been talking about for, God, a good six or seven years. Uh, but recently uh, we had some, some things happen in our world that uh, kind of spurred it and brought it to the, the front of the pack. Uh, but anyway, you know, as we go through the build, I'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, but really, uh, we're starting an AR-10 build, uh, really more a LR-308 build. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a, a top tier kind of rifle. Uh, everything that we're putting into this is going to be the best possible product we can find for our application. Uh, and really what we're starting with today is the receiver set. So what we're looking at here is a, a company from Colbert, I believe, Colbert, Washington, called Area 53. Uh, they had some, some receivers I saw years ago uh, that were really interesting and were machined for challenge coins. So you could put a challenge coin of your choice and it was inletted into the receiver. Uh, that's really what started the idea of this build many, many years ago. Uh, so we finally got that kind of stuff put together. So I figured we'd start with basically the beginning and uh, take a look at the receiver set. So uh, we'll get a better look at this, talk about it. Uh, throughout this build series, I'm gonna slow down a little bit, talk about the history, talk about the differences between obviously the, the 10 pattern versus the 15 pattern, uh, the differences between the different platforms within the AR-10 or the 308 pattern, uh, and kind of what you can do with that. But uh, without getting into too much, let's take a look at this receiver set. All right, so here we have the Area 53 uh, DPMS pattern, uh, really LR308. Uh, we talked about the inlet a little bit. Really nice, nice, nice receiver work. These guys do good work. I've been a fan for quite a while. Uh, it comes basically about the lower and upper receiver as a set. Uh, some pretty cool features with this. Uh, the grip is kind of contoured for like a hand grip. Has a nice funnel in the magwell an oversized winter type trigger guard it's got a built-in trigger reset adjustment set screw uh, upper adjustment tension uh, and an ambi bolt release built in from the factory but uh, we'll get this bad boy out of the box and see if we can get a closer look so i'm not going to go really crazy deep into the detail and the history uh, of ar-10s maybe really quick uh, obviously AR-10s were developed in probably around, I want to say, 55-56 by Eugene Stoner uh, as he started working with Armalite. Uh, the AR-10 pattern actually came before the AR-15 uh, by about two or three years. Um, and really it was kind of set up to be a replacement for the M1 Garand kind of platform that was getting antiquated, very heavy. Uh, it became a, a battle rifle that was kind of coming to the end of its service life. Uh, so that's really where this came into the fray as the military was kind of looking for a new variant. Uh, but with that being said, uh, we can kind of just take a peek. Really nice machine work on this. Uh, guys do a good job. It is DPMS pattern. We'll get more into that as I build the upper and the lower. Uh, but to really talk about why I went after this one in particular, as I have a challenge coin that I've had for a couple years that was a gift from my dad that I really kind of wanted to build a gun off of. Uh, so that's really what kind of started the idea. But as I said earlier, uh, we're going to be pretty detailed in going over this build uh, piece by piece, part by part. Uh, so it's probably going to be a relatively long series. I have all of the parts here to build this gun now. Uh, I'm going to start mocking it up and getting it ready for a camo job, a Syraco job. So I figured the last thing I'd show you guys today, uh, this is the grip I purchased. Uh, the, the getting together and the planning for this build took about five months. Uh, so it's taken a lot to get where we are. Uh, but uh, anyway, this is the grip we purchased uh, way off, probably in February, from a company called Praxis Precision Engineering. Uh, that's another nice fine piece of machining uh, this won't be quite so 
huggy bearish when we're done we're going to Cerakote that down uh, maybe have a little offset of the silver uh, some k s push pins uh, that we're going to use uh, so that's going to be some interesting things that we'll talk about later as we go through like the differences in the parts kits and things like that uh, but you know basically again like i said in, our, in the beginning of the video this is kind of all the little bells and whistles that i i usually kind of forego in some of the builds I actually went for this time so it was kind of a no holds barred kind of budget and uh, it's gonna be fun guys so stick with me uh, probably next weekend we'll have a video building the lower and the upper assembly uh, we have a custom barrel custom bolt uh, just a myriad of stuff we're gonna go through I am actually gonna cover the complete camo job from making the stencils to spraying it uh, so hopefully that that's of some value to some of you guys. We got a lot of attention from our last camo gun, and uh, I hope it's going to be good for you guys. I know we're going to enjoy it. So see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.